welcome to my shed and this is the Huey E5756 that's how I'm going to pronounce it uh, this particular one has a 3 sim in it at the moment I bought it on pay as you go from the high street um, but full disclosure here I've branded it up with my documentally.com uh, avatar because I'm sponsored this year or at least my data is by Vodafone so as soon as the month is up uh, and I've paid my £13 I can have this remotely unlocked so that any sim will sit in it and I'll be putting my Vodafone sim inside um, I'm quite excited by this particular device because of what it's promising to offer. 43.2 megabits per second. It says a five second startup time. Let's test that now. Press and hold. One, two, three, four, five. I think that light coming on says that it's grabbing a signal. I'd count six, seven. I'd say we're connected now. So. Maybe it gets faster the more it learns where your local antennas are. So here we have, it's still connecting, look at that, there we go. I reckon that was more than 10 seconds, so a little porky pie there. Uh, what I am interested in uh, more than anything is the size of the battery that's in here. Uh, and I haven't been able to get the back off at the moment, I don't even know if it comes off. <laughs> so we can show you that battery. But if I tell you it has allegedly 10 hours working time and 500 hours standby, but if you're dipping in and out of the Wi-Fi, they're reporting that to be more likely 60 hours of standby. And um, 10 devices can connect simultaneously, which is double what you normally get on these kind of MiFi's. You get five normally. And I'm running mobile story making workshops all over the country and soon to be the world. And it's good to have one device that 10 people can connect to. So inside here, a 3000 milliamp hour battery and you can charge other devices from it but you need to use the mythical AF10 adapter and I've googled AF10 adapter and it does mention it on the website for Huawei but you, I can't find one, I don't know what it looks like, I imagine it's micro USB to um, kind of USB in maybe, who knows uh, as soon as I find one I'll no doubt um, be grabbing one to test. It's 10 centimeters wide, 6.5 centimeters high, 1.5 centimeters deep and weighs 150 grams with the battery. Let me see if I can uh, focus up here. Um, it has your standard, uh, s standard SIM slot there with a little um, flap over the top. They were a little bit concerned in the store that I could just drop a micro sim in an adapter in there they were worried a little bit that it might get stuck um, there was no problem at all I dropped it in took it out dropped it in again it's got your micro SD um, slot in there as well um, I've never actually used the micro SD in one of these maybe you know file sharing and maybe you can turn one of these with a bit of hacking into it into a kind of remote server your reset button is there on the side you do have your um, Wi-Fi details, uh, password, the standard one on the back there so you can reset it and put it back to normal. I tend to uh, fiddle with the SSID so it says um, documentally.com or something like that. So um, again what I like about this is the kind of time that it's offering to keep you online. It's also this, this I don't know, 43.2 megabits per second. We're soon going to eat through our data allowance or something like that aren't we and it says it does UMTS, HSDPA, HSUPA, HSPA plus, DC hyphen HSPA plus and your GSM, GPRS and Edge and does that mean anything to you? Let's just say it's covering all bases I believe and um, with the also you know the optional extra here of uh, an external antenna I'm, I'm really quite excited about the possibilities of, um, as I'm in my shed at the moment, come on, focus, focus. I'm using the Panasonic GH3 at the moment, but it's the end of the day. Surprisingly low light. I'm going to try and force it to focus there. Imagine that little blurry hole is an antenna socket just there. That's what you want. Come on. It ain't going to focus. It is, believe me. And... Um, 
dropping an antenna on the roof of this shed which is a little bit like a Faraday cage because of all of the um, insulation I've got would uh, do wonders I think so there you have it that's just a very quick look um, I'm going to use it uh, and test it uh, alongside the existing MiFi's that are around um, one thing I do like uh, as an additional uh, kind of an additional thing that they've obviously thought about with this if I reach into the box saving you even a glimpse of a box after all this is not an unboxing it's a quick look is um, the kind of charger and cable that they're giving you there we go just bung that on the floor um, this little charger here really cool little um, USB plug nice and flat still got the plastic on as you can see but on closer inspection it's actually delivering 2.1 amps so that's a charger that could charge your iDevice, your tablet, and of course this beefy little battery in here. So um, nice thought there, rather than giving you the one amp slow USB charger, kind of thing you'd want to maybe stick in your kit bag. Uh, it doesn't take up much space and you can charge all your USB devices off that, obviously one at a time. So there we go. That is the new MiFi from Huawei. It's been out for a couple of months, but it's only just come to the UK. Enjoy.